Throughout the savanna, even the largest and most majestic animals are vulnerable, sometimes from their own kind. Rhino bulls use their massive horns in fights for territories, and these can be deadly. This bull was no match for his opponent, which pursued him when he turned to flee. The scrapes on his skin show where he was repeatedly stabbed until the deadly blow was dealt, which pierced the skin at his foreleg. Like all animals, even the giants of the savanna must eventually die. And when they do, they present a perfect opportunity for the spotted hyenas to make the most of their skill set. An incredibly acute sense of smell and hearing means they're often the first to arrive at a kill. A young male approaches cautiously. Despite the meal on offer, this is a dangerous place. Lions also have a strong sense of smell and are not above scavenging. But the coast is clear. Other clan members quickly arrive. The raised tails of two females show confidence and excitement. And they waste no time in tucking into the rhino's thick hide. Their higher rank means they're in first for the best pickings. The young male respectfully waits his turn. picking off scraps when he can. <laughs> the hyena's formidable cheek teeth, or carnassials, enable them to slice through even the toughest of hides. And they don't come much tougher than a rhino's. Eventually they gain access to the fatty flesh below. The hyena's skills haven't gone unnoticed. While many spend their lives actively avoiding lions and hyenas, others seek them out. Vultures have followed the hyena in the hope of being led to a kill. But they must wait their turn. So must the male hyena that first found the carcass. He's an outcast, born into another clan, which he left around the age of three. After a long process of assimilation, the group finally accepted him but as a male, he ranks lower than all adult females. And because he wasn't born into this clan, he also ranks lower than all the males who were. The only creatures he holds rank over are the onlooking vultures. Despite having done all the hard work to find the meal, while the females are around, he's unwilling to challenge for a prime place on the kill. The rhino carcass is an unusual and lucky find for the family and will feed them for days. Weighing over a ton, the giant herbivore is part of a group of the savannah's largest and most powerful animals, all of which face no risk of predation. At five and a half tons, this elephant was well above the one-ton threshold of safety and wasn't at risk of predation. 
but even its imposing size can't protect it from old age. The lion pride fed first, then the hyenas took what they wanted. Now it's left to the rest. A black-backed jackal is reliant on lions and hyenas to open up a carcass of this size. While they're adept at hunting for themselves, jackals will take any chance to scavenge. And the carcass presents an opportunity for a free meal. Jackals live in monogamous breeding pairs and have no wider social structure, but will gather in numbers around a source of food. Despite the elephant's desiccated appearance, the remains still have valuable nutrients to offer. Though this elephant's massive bulk kept it safe from predation, for everything weighing less than a ton, the threat from the savannah's hunters is ever present. And none is more threatening than the lion. <laughs> <laughs>